Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you three most common mistakes people do when they perform a handstand. When you start calisthenics training, one of the first things you want to learn is probably the handstand. The main problem is that when learning how to handstand, small things make a huge difference. Like most people, I learned how to handstand by myself and from watching YouTube videos. But there's one issue with YouTube videos. Most of them don't show you the small details which can be the reason you can't hold a handstand yet. So in this video I'm going to cover three mistakes which are very common and help you to correct them. The first mistake is head position. When people start learning the handstand they put their head between the arms so they are looking backwards and this is the reason they lose balance and fall from the handstand. The eyes should always be on the floor between the hands. Imagine the line right in the middle of your hands and keep your eyes on the floor. If you are still new to handstand this is a must because it will help you build proper position for future handstand work. If you keep your eyes on the ground this helps you build more body awareness and balance. Always start learning the handstand like this so make sure you program yourself right from the beginning. Then after some time when you will be familiar with handstand balancing you can tuck your head in and this will make the handstand a lot more difficult and challenging but always start with easier progressions and then slowly make things more challenging. This little improvement will also help you with handstand push-ups if you want to learn them because you can perform it without watching at the ground all the time. Shoulder position. If you can hold a freestanding handstand this doesn't mean that your shoulders are in the right position. Shoulder blades must always be elevated. Imagine as you would like to touch the ears with the shoulders. This is very important because when the shoulders are elevated you decrease the pressure on the shoulders and your handstand just feels and looks better. Keep your arms straight all the time and just push hard with the hands on the floor to elevate the scapula. This small improvement is oftentimes overlooked but you will benefit from it a lot, especially your shoulders. If you can't open up the shoulders properly and you don't have enough mobility, then I would suggest you to do the exercises for shoulder mobility, because without it you can't hold a proper line in handstand. Work on your weaknesses, listen to your body and improve every day. Handstand is all about practice and patience. You can learn to hold a handstand in one month, but it takes years to learn a perfect handstand. Core and leg activation. You often see people holding a banana handstand. This may happen because of the two things. The first is shoulder mobility, which I have already talked about. And the second is because they don't activate the core and legs. When you hold the handstand, it's very important to keep the tension throughout the whole body. This will improve your line. The reason why you have arched back is because you haven't activated your core and legs. You can start practicing this by squeezing the legs before you kick. Squeeze them as hard as possible and as you kick up, keep squeezing them as you remain in the handstand. I know that this is one of the hardest things for people to comprehend. It's hard to focus on something like squeezing the butt when you are upside down. But keep trying and after a while it will become natural to you. Just like squeezing your legs, you want to keep your abs tight during the entire handstand. The ideal position is a slight hollow body with your back flat and abs tight. This will help you stay in good form rather than arching your back which can cause you to fall and it just doesn't look good at all. So remember to activate your core and legs when you are in the handstand. I wish you a lot of success with your handstand training and I hope you learned something new today. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.